In this question we are told that ABCD is a parallelogram. So there it is, ABCD. Now remember, if something is a parallelogram, it automatically means the following. Okay, so now the point of the question is to prove that AECF is a parallelogram. So how do we prove that something is a parallelogram? There are five different ways, and those are the following. So if you want to prove that something is a parallelogram, you, then you need to get one of these five. Only one of those five. You don't need to do all of them. And so... Let's take a look. So the way these questions typically work is the following. Imagine you could prove that these two triangles are congruent. Well, that would help us because if those two triangles are congruent, then it means that AE must be the same as FC. Okay, then imagine you could prove the following. Imagine you could prove that these two triangles were congruent. Well, then we could potentially prove that, well, if those two are congruent, then we can say that this side, um, AF, is the same length as EC. Then what we would have done by doing all of that, we would have proved that this length is the same as this length, and this length is the same as this length. Then those two triangles would be, well, sorry, that big red quadrilateral would be called a parallelogram. Why? Because of this one, which says that if the opposite sides are equal, then it's a parallelogram. So let's use that technique. Very often that's the technique we're going to use, especially when we can see triangles on the outside. So we're going to work in triangle A, B, E, and then we're also going to work in triangle C, D, F. And remember for congruency we need to find three things that are the same. If you're battling with congruency, then please watch the earlier videos in this chapter. So we need three things. Well, we can see that BE is the same as DF. Can you see that? They, they told us that by putting those lines like that. So the reason for that one is given. And then the big blue quadrilateral, remember that is a parallelogram. So because it is a parallelogram, it means that all of this is true because this is the, these are the properties of a parallelogram. So because the blue one is a parallelogram, we can say that AB is the same as DC, right? Like this. Okay, so we can say that AB is the same as DC. The reason is that those are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. So we show that like that. And so we need one more thing. We'll have a look at this. Did you spot this Z? Well, there we go. Because remember, we know that AB is parallel to DC. Why? Because the blue shape is a parallelogram and we know that these properties are true. So we can say that. And so because of that alternating that's taking place, we know that this little angle inside here, which is this angle B, is going to be the same as angle D. So let's write that down. We can say angle A, B, E is equal to angle B, D, C. Why? Because of alternating angles like that. And then we have to say which sides are parallel. So that's going to be AB is parallel to CD. And so going back to the congruency, we have now found three things. And so therefore we can say that triangle A, B, E is congruent. So we use three lines to triangle. So let's have a look. Angle A, well that's going to match with angle C, so we'll say like, we'll say C over here. Angle B, that's going to match with angle D, and angle E is going to match with F. And the reason for this is side, angle, side. Remember the angle must be in between the two sides, but in this example, it is. Okay, so these two triangles are perfectly congruent, or well, they are exactly the same. So what can we take from that that will help us in answering the final question, which is to prove that the red shape is a parallelogram? Well, all that's really going to help us over there is to know that this side is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to FC. Okay, so we know that. So we can say, therefore, AE is going to be equal to FC. Okay, so we've just proven that. And so I'm going to show that they are equal by just putting three lines over there and three lines over there. So now we know that those are equal. Now we can prove that the following two triangles are congruent. And so we need to tell the teacher which triangles we are working in now. So we say in triangle AFD and triangle BEC. 
So first things first, we know that the big blue shape is a parallelogram, and so this side over here is equal to that side. Remember, opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So we can say that AD is equal to BC. We're not going to say given, but we can say opposite sides of a parallelogram. Next, we can say that BE is equal to FD. We can see that, right? It was That was given to us, so we can just say given. And then can you spot the following Z? Because remember, the blue shape is a parallelogram, so these are already parallel. You must remember that if they tell you that one of them is a parallelogram, you must remember its properties. So what we can say is that this angle inside here is going to be the same as this angle over here because of alternating angles. And so the one at the top, well, that's going to be ADF. So you can go ADF equals to CBE. And the reason for that is alternating angles, and the sides that are parallel is AD parallel to BC. And so there we have three things. And so we can say, therefore, triangle AFD is going to be congruent to triangle. Now, this angle A is going to match angle C, so we can start off by saying C. This F over here is going to match E. And then D is going to match B, like that. And the reason is going to be side, angle, side, once again. And so we've just proved that these two purple triangles are equal. And so let's extract as much information. Well, that means now that this length is going to be the same as this length, right? So we can say that. We can say that EC, therefore, EC is going to be the same as... AF. And so in this red quadrilateral now, we can easily say that it's a parallelogram. Because to prove that something is a parallelogram, you need to use one of these five options. And we've just proved that the opposite sides are equal. Have a look there. We said that EAF is the same as EC. And we also said that AE is the same as FC. AE is equal to FC. So we can say, therefore, AE so that's not A. A, E, F, C is a parallelogram. Why? Because we have two pairs of opposite sides that are equal. Two pairs, opposite sides, equal.